My name is Blas Elias. I play drums here at Rating the Rock Vault. The first popular band I played with, I guess, would be Slaughter. That's uh, a band that uh, came out about uh, 1990, our first record came out. And I met those guys in the late 80s. Um, they had been, Mark Slaughter and Dana Strum had, had been in a band with Vinnie Vincent, uh, who uh, was the guitar player for Kiss. And uh, after that band broke up, they wanted to put together a new band. So we put the band together, made some demos, and uh, pretty quickly got, you know, uh, a record deal with Chrysalis Records, and our first tour was opening for Kiss, 1990, and their Hot in the Shade tour. And so that was a pretty amazing experience. I think I was 21 or 22 years old, you know, playing, you know, arenas all over the world. So that was that was pretty awesome. Um, and we got to play with some amazing artists. I played, you know, we we toured with Ozzy Osbourne, with uh, Ted Nugent, Alice Cooper, uh, White Snake. You know, the list goes on. You know, we had a pretty good run there. We sold. Uh, about three million records on our first, uh, about a million and a half on our second record. Um, so uh, that, I was I was fortunate, very grateful for that experience, and that's probably where a lot of people know me from. And uh, then for for years after that, I played with the Blue Man Group here in Las Vegas, um, which was uh, it's a, it's a different thing, and it's 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 not a rock band, but it has some really cool, amazing music. And uh, some great players, and and uh, from there, you know, I, I actually um, learned some different styles of music that I can now incorporate into my playing. And they use more, of, it's like a tribal drumming thing, which is, you know, it's amazing if you've ever seen that show. And currently, in addition to uh, writing the rock ball, I'm playing with the Trans Siberian Orchestra, which is also it's it's an amazing, amazing show. The production is just out of this world. Writing the rock ball to me, it's a uh, a history of uh, music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And uh, we kind of go through uh, the best of the classic rock songs, and it kind of gives you a little story behind the artists, the songs. Uh, there's video incorporated. So, um, and also getting to see players who have played on some of these records uh, and who've, who've you know, toured with some of these artists. Um, it's, 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 a, it's a unique experience to see the show. When I first saw it, I was blown away. I, I actually couldn't believe there wasn't anything on tape. And I found out, you know, these singers, it's just, you know, it's all live. There's never been anything on tape here. But when you see it, it sounds so good. Mm -hmm. 